If I said more than five words in a day, it's because they didn't hear me the first time. Everything has been said before, provided the words have the same meaning, and the meaning the same words. Everything has been said before, provided the words have the same meaning, and the meaning the same words. Like an old cartoon, where the same cars and buildings pass by over and over again in the background to create the illusion of movement. Like an old cartoon, where the same cars and buildings pass by over and over again in the background to create the illusion of movement. What do you say to a one-legged hitchhiker? Hop in. <laughs> what do you say to a one-legged hitchhiker? Hop in. It's like watching a movie you don't remember seeing and recognizing the lines before you hear them. It's like watching a movie you don't remember seeing and recognizing the lines before you hear them. I recently rewatched a movie called The Passenger about a man who assumes the identity of a dead man. I recently rewatched a movie called The Passenger about a man who assumes the identity of a dead man. It reminded me of someone I knew who used to tell all my stories as if they were his own. And when I would tell my own stories, people would say, that some, sounds like something he would say. It reminds me of someone I knew who used to tell my, all my stories like they were his own. And when I told my own stories, people would say, that sounds like something he would say. Lately, when I tell my own stories, people say, you told me the same story the last time I saw you. <laughs> Lately, when I tell my stories, people say, you said the same story the last time I saw you. Like a bad stand-up comedian who tells the same jokes. Like a bad stand-up comedian who tells the same jokes. <laughs> A man goes home to his mother to tell her that he married a two-headed man from the circus. She asks him, is he handsome? And he answers, yes and no. A man goes home to tell his mother that he married a two-headed man from the circus. She asks him, is he handsome? And he answers, yes and no. It's easy enough to reproduce oral transmissions. It's harder to replicate a person's genetic code, and even more difficult to clone the brain's electrical impulses and patterns, unless you apply the tenets of quantum physics. Like quantum tunneling, based on the mathematical probability that any mass can pass through an impenetrable wall and magically appear on the other side. Or quantum coherence, where an enzyme takes the most direct route to accelerating a chemical reaction by dividing up and coming back together again. or quantum entanglement, <laughs> where the slightest shift in one molecule affects a second molecule located in a different time and space.
I seem to have forgotten my lines. <laughs> to have forgotten my lines. I'm going to repeat everything I say so that the act of listening becomes one of remembering, because you can only repeat what you remember. I'm going to repeat everything I say so that the act of listening becomes one of remembering, because you can only repeat what you remember. Like the way ESL students are punished with reciting the same lines over and over again. Like the way ESL students are punished with reciting the same lines over and over again. If I said more than five words in a day, it's because they didn't hear me the first time. If I said more than five words in a day, it's because they didn't hear me the first time. Everything has been said before, provided the words have the same meaning, and the meaning of the same words. Everything has been said before, provided the words have the same meaning, and the meaning of the same words. It's like martial arts movies, where you see the stunt doubles dying over and over again. It's like old martial arts movies where you see the stunt doubles dying over and over again. It's like watching a movie you don't remember seeing and recognizing the lines before you hear them. It's like watching a movie you don't remember seeing and recognizing the lines before you hear them. I recently rewatched a movie called Fox and His Friends about a circus performer who claims to have lost his body in a car accident and through a miracle of science survives as a talking head. I recently rewatched a movie called Fox and His Friends about a circus performer who claims to have lost his body in a car accident and through a miracle of science, survives as a talking head. It reminds me of a movie I saw as a child called The Flying Guillotine, about Ming Dynasty assassins who leave a trail of headless bodies in their wake. It reminds me of a movie I saw as a child called The Flying Guillotine about Ming Dynasty assassins who leave a trail of headless bodies in their wake. I saw it in a seedy Chinatown cinema, which didn't bother to clear the theater after each screening. I saw it in a seedy Chinatown cinema, which didn't bother to clear the theater after each screening. My mother had two children, so she would never have to sit beside strangers. <laughs> My mother had two children, so she would never have to sit beside strangers. People would arrive late and watch the ending before the beginning. People were used to rearranging the past. People would arrive late and watch the ending before the beginning. People were used to rearranging the past. It's like a bad stand-up comedian who tells the same jokes. Like a bad stand-up comedian who tells the same jokes. Two bags of vomit are walking down the street. One gets sentimental and begins to cry. The other asks, why are you crying? And the crying bag of vomit says, I was brought up around here. <laughs> Two bags of vomit are walking down the street. One gets sentimental and begins to cry. The other asks, why are you crying? And the crying bag of vomit says, I was brought up around here.